Two weeks ago, RCPD was called to the scene of three separate shots fired incidents at house parties in the Manhattan area. Reporter Cameron Bradley sat down with RCPD Public Information Officer Aaron Wintermote to get more information on these incidents. So I'm joined by the Public Information Officer of RCPD, Aaron Wintermote. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Cameron. So recently I've heard that there have been, you know, some issues with shootings at house parties within the Manhattan area. Um, is there any information that you can give me on what's going on with these shootings? So we don't have a lot of information at this point. Um, and I do want to clarify, um, we, we want to treat this as a shots fired um, incident. A uh, shooting kind of indicates that somebody has been shot, and that was not the case in any of these incidents. Um, we believe that, you know, there was possibly some uh, altercations between some individuals at some house parties and a weapon was fired in the air um, to kind of break this up. Um, we don't really have uh, any further information at this point. Um, we're, we're still looking for suspects or individuals that might be involved in this. So is it just house parties that these are happening at? So we believe so. Um, we believe all three of these incidents occurred um, at or around an active house party that was going on at the time of the shots fired. So is this like a reason for people to, you know, start being on the lookout, protecting themselves uh, with an issue like this happening? You know, I think anybody at any time should be on the lookout for, you know, weapons at any sort of uh, function where alcohol is involved. Um, obviously, firearms and alcohol aren't a good combination um, and things like this can happen. We don't have any reason to believe that the public is in any sort of danger right now. Um, you know, we believe that these were probably isolated incidents between, you know, a couple of, of individuals. All right. Well, I think that's all from me. Thanks for joining us. Channel 8 News has not learned of any new shots fired incidents since the three across the weekend of February 20th. For more information, please visit RileyCountyPolice.org.